Do you vaguely remember the flames of passion, the longing, the desire you had in the beginning of your marriage, just after your honeymoon? It's normal that some of that wear off, but how do you get the spark back into your relationship, back into your marriage? In this video, I'm going to share with you 40 venues outside the sheets. Your success is variety and surprise and that will bring some of that passion some of those flames back into your marriage these 40 ideas will take you outside your comfort zone and as a special disclaimer do this at your own risk and make sure your heart can take it just before we jump into this video remember to subscribe number one book a hotel room and send a whatsapp message to your partner to meet you there over lunchtime or plan an evening away for the two of you Raise up and pretend that you are meeting each other in secret. Arrive separately and rip the clothes off each other. Sex on the kitchen table. You have most probably heard of this one, but have you tried it yet? While busy in the kitchen, call him to come and help with something and wait for him wearing just your apron. If you really want to be dramatic, you can wipe everything off the tabletop before lifting you on there. Number three, in a swimming pool. Go away for the weekend to a holiday resort where there is a steaming hot pool. If entry is prohibited, maybe don't risk it. But if you have a swimming pool at home, it can still be just as adventurous as you sneak out so that the kids don't hear about your midnight escapades in the pool. Number four, on the boardroom table at work. If hubby has to work late, let him know that you will pop in to quickly say hello. Just make sure that no one else is working late. Put on your sexiest underwear underneath a big cut and surprise him. During Monday's meeting, he will definitely picture you on that very same table. Number five, when no one else is home, offer to help him wash the car. Park the car in the backyard, put on a white t-shirt and a bikini and start washing. The result, sex on the hood of his car, guaranteed. Number six, ask for help with the laundry and when you get to the washing machine, Switch it on to start a load, then get on top of the washing machine and pull him close. Number seven. In the cold winter months, very few things beat sex in front of the fireplace. Put on some romantic music, light a few candles, open a bottle of red wine and place a soft carpet or blanket in front of the fire. Invite him to join you and one thing will most definitely lead to the next. Number eight. When visiting his parents' house, pay close attention to his every move. A few minutes after he excuses himself to go to the bathroom, get up from the table and wait for him outside the door. Surprise him with a passionate kiss and lead him into his old bedroom as a child. Number 9. A weekend in the countryside can get very exciting. When visiting friends who live on a farm, go for a walk, just the two of you. Secretly run to the barn and throw your clothes over a haystack. Get down right there, but be aware of the sharp straw limbs. Number 10. Dune sex is a hit. When on holiday at the coast, go for a long walk along the beach and lead him away from the water into the dunes. As long as the wind isn't blowing too strongly, you can have amazing sex between the dunes without anyone seeing you and with the sound of the waves in your ears and the sun on your naked skin. Number 11. In a treehouse. When the kids are away one weekend, you can do it Tarzan and Jane style. Break into the kids' treehouse and go wild among the branches. Number 12. Go shopping together for clothes. Take a few items with you to the changing room, as if you're going to fit them. Hubba should stay close. Call the assistant to bring you a different size of a certain item and once she's gone, hubby can sneak in. Slip into another cubicle and get it on with mirrors all around. Number 13. When going camping, the possibilities are endless. Go for a walk and as long as the route is safe, you can wander off the trail and look for a spot where you can lie down between the ferns. You can also have sex against the wall of a cave or in a mountain pool. In the evenings, the tent is available. But if you are alone, a spot next to the open fire is even better. Number 14. Have you ever had sex in a rocking chair? There are people who claim that it is the best moving sex that you can have. 
If it is one of your fantasies to have sex while you and your partner are moving, you can also try a swing, a merry-go-round or a hammock. Number 15. Sex in the back row of the movies is also a popular but risky option. Buy tickets for the late night show in the middle of the week when it is unlikely that there would be many other people. Pick a romantic movie so that you have an appropriate backdrop to set the mood and one where hubby will move you aside to watch the end. Number 16. In the sauna. For a warm, sweaty experience, don't let the opportunity pass you by to enjoy a sauna together. And ladies, just think about all the calories that you will burn by combining a sauna session with a good round of sex. Number 17. Visit a library. The bigger, the better. A university library is a good idea to remind you about the carefree days when you could make up non-stop for 24 hours. Leave a note in your shirt pocket to meet you in the English literature or the biology section. Then read a passionate Shakespeare piece or inspect a biology sketch of the human body before you bring those words and images to light between the bookshelves. Number 18. Sex in the bathroom can also have many variations. Do it on the edge of the bath, in a tub with bubble bath, under the shower or quite simply flat on the bathroom tiles. Number 19. On the stairs. There are few things so romantic as when a man carries his wife up the stairs to the bedroom. However, it is not even necessary to reach the bedroom. The railing and the fact that the stairs are at different angles create many opportunities for all kinds of interesting positions. Number 20. The Mile High Club is the phrase used to associate people who have had sex on an aeroplane. If you have even noticed people leaving the restroom cubicle on a plane at the same time or shortly after one another, they are probably now members of the Mile High Club. Maybe you should give it a try. Believe it or not, these are also 20 tried and tested sex hotspots. In a helicopter, on a motorbike, in a public restroom, in a jacuzzi, on a trampoline, under a rainbow, in a field, on a jungle gym, on a balcony, on the deck of the ship, in a hot air balloon, on the back of a horse, while sailing a canoe, next to a Christmas tree, on a merry-go-round, while scuba diving, in the restroom at a restaurant, on the wet grass under the full moon, on the house's roof and barefoot in the rain. The list really is endless, but here is the challenge. If you as a couple are willing to try one or two of these venues, leave us a thumbs up and we'll know you're one of those magnificent, wonderful couples. I've also left a printable down below so you can double check the list of the 40 venues. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.